Hello, welcome everybody to the Cross Killer Kids. So it's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd make one today. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you, or not showing you, talking to you about how I made um this Negative Man mask. So the natural mask consists of all the bandages, or Larry Trainer, Negative Man, or Larry Trainer, whatever way you want to say it. Um, so yeah, basically, I'm just going to start off with how I made it, and then I'll put it on. Now, I haven't use tea dye or anything like that to give it weathering because I literally just made this yesterday um, but yeah it's basically a morph mask morph suit mask so I don't know if you can see that under here and I got the mannequin head sorry yeah which I then have to take loads of like the bone stuff, I think it's underlay, and then um, the not duct tape, parcel tape over it to match around the same size as my head because it's that this head is a hell of a lot smaller, so it fits well, it's around the same size as my head. After I've drawn it a bit extra for the nose because I've got a really tiny nose, um, well, not, not tiny, but it's not exactly big. Um, and so you can't really see my nose in this, which is a bit annoying. Um, and then I've got these bandages, which are these. So they're self-fixed bandages, which you can, they're like vet wrap, I think they're called. You can get them at hospitals or vets and stuff. Um, so that's what they use. I got 11 of them, and I think I used 6 on this, so I got some left over, and I just started, I had the morph suit mask on the mannequin head, and I just started with wrapping bandages around in the certain way that his mask is, or his bandages is, um, I had to look up a lot of reference pictures and everything, and it was quite hard, but I managed to do it, now, it's, I'm not happy with all of it, especially that bit there, I don't know see um, but yeah now I've mainly glued certain parts to the mask so it's like kind of not attached but it's attached at the center of the head and at the back and down near the nose and the bandages which is good is a like self adhesive to itself it doesn't stick to other things but it does stick to itself which is quite cool and quite handy um, so I can hold it in place and then I use hot glue gun to glue it. Um, you could use other type of glues but that's just what I used. So yeah, um, and then I cut the eye holes uh, which are small. I haven't got the goggles yet. Um, I'll show you with them on with just some sunglasses because that's all I have at the moment. These are the sunglasses. So I'll just, I'll show you them with it on. Now it is quite hard to get it off. Um, and I have to have to glue some bits over and over again because they just keep coming apart. But you know, it's alright. Um so yeah, I'm now gonna show you what it looks like on. If you unfortunately I didn't take any videos of me like making it. But I did take some pictures on the Instagram story bit. So if you go over to my Instagram at the Cross Liquid two thousand five, you'll be able to find some pictures. Now it's not on the actual pit it's not on the actual post, it's on like the story that you add load them to it should be on the negative man but yeah um so yeah i'm gonna show you what this looks like um and it's pretty damn hard to get off but you know i can get it off um, eventually now i know it looks a bit silly at the moment because i haven't done any weathering to it yet and you can't really see the pattern, but this is the bit I hate here. Normally I tuck them underneath, which you can see here. This bit I couldn't, because um, it wouldn't go under that bit. So I had to end up cutting it, and I didn't cut it straight, and it just looks awful. So from a distance, it looks alright. So yeah, like I was saying, is you f I have a really little nose, so it doesn't look particularly the best from the side of you. But, you know, it looks alright. Um... I got them wrapped in a certain way, seven across the top, round, down, down, 
it's very confusing, but if you do your research and find the little pictures, you should be able to do it just fine. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like with these sunglasses because I don't have the goggles yet. Now I'm gonna see if I can find anti fog goggles because these fog up. I mean, really fast. So if I show you, so this is what it looks like um, just with goggles. Now I'm measuring this with the coat. I've ordered the coat from eBay, and I actually bought a a what is it? A turtleneck. Um, but it was white, so I tried to dye it green, like his is, but I couldn't find a green one where it's ribbed on the neck and the wrists, but it was plain over. But I found a, a load of different colours, just not green. So I, I ordered like this beige one, and I dyed it olive green with dye, um, but it didn't work. It looked okay, it looked a bit light, so I was like, oh, um, I would have to get a different dye, but after I dyed it, once it dried, it just went beige again. It didn't. It went its original colour, which was really weird, and I don't know if it was because of the fabric. It was 50% acrylic and 50% cotton, so it should have worked, but I don't know. So I'm gonna have to find another turtle neck. Um, yeah. Um, I'm now got to work on the gloves and all that stuff because the fingers need doing. Now, oh, it's getting very steamed up in here, so I'm just going to take these off. So yeah, um, the fingers on the gloves I'm still working on. Um, I was going to go into a glove, but I used the same bandages I used for this. And I actually managed to just create this finger. So it's got no finger showing there. I can literally just slip it on like so because it's self adhesive to itself, so I could do it. Imagine the finger with gloves on, I think that looks quite good. So I might end up just doing that, but I don't know for sure yet. So yeah, um, I would have done the bandages further down here, down the neck, but I decided not to because um, I wouldn't be able to get off the mannequin head. Um, this was the end of it that was stretchy, which was the bit I managed to pull over the chin. But yeah, so. And I also burnt myself with hot glue um, quite badly, so I actually made a bandage, a real one. But when I had it, it was like this cotton stuff, but. And then also, I had some left of the bandage, so I made another finger. Now, obviously, this one, I'm gonna just take that bandage stuff out. Now obviously these two that I'm about to put on don't have the ends. I can make this one does, but it's not it didn't do enough, it didn't double it up at the end. But if I pull it up a bit, you can kinda of imagine what it looked like. We could put the gloves on and stuff, so yeah, um so yeah I just wanted to make this video um to help anyone if you need any help with making one if you make yourself one just message me on my instagram i'll try and help you um i'll just spin around while wearing it just to kind of give you what it looks like now i know you can see the small feet logo on the mask but it, i'm not that bothered about that and hopefully you won't see that with the turtleneck one but let me get a bit closer um, Push it around again. I don't know if you can see all the stuff. But, and then there's also the head. So, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. If you do like it, give it a like. If you don't like it, dislike it. It's up to you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, hope this helps. See ya.